Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss C++ operators. All C language operators are valid in C++. So let us discuss these all operators in detail. First is arithmetic operators, five operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulo division operator which are used to perform arithmetic operations in your program. The next are relational operators which are used to represent relationship between two identifiers that are less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to and not equal to. Then let us discuss logical operators that are logical and, logical or and logical not used to represent logical relationship between two expressions. Here is the truth table. Suppose we are having two expression A and B. First expression is true second is true then n will return true value and or will also return true value first expression true second expression false n will return false while or will return true here in third first expression is false second is true n will return false while or will return true and both ex expression are false then n will return false and or also will return so in summary we can say that if you are uh, using and operator then it will return false it will return false if it will found any of the expression as false here second expression false that's why it is returning false first expression false and both expression are false logical or will return true if it will found any of the expression as true here both expression are true first expression true here second expression is true now let us discuss assignment operator which is used to assign value to the variable and it will store that value in a memory so here is the syntax right side and left side right hand side we are going to write literal or some constant value or variable identifier or any mathematical expression while in left hand side it will be always a variable identifier so we can use literal one as the right hand side here we will be having variable i as variable identifier we can write variable name and as expression we can write any arithmetic expression and can be stored to the variable we can use assignment operators as a shortened operator suppose we want to perform x equals to x plus 3 so we want to increase value 3 in x and want to store in x itself so it can be written like x plus equals 3 so you are supposed to write operator then equal sign and your right hand side and left hand side will remain same here are some of the example here you want to perform a plus 1 and want to store that answer in a itself so it can be written a plus equal 1 here we are having some expression in that we are multiplying that expression to a and want to store answer to a itself so it can be written like a then your operator multiplication equal and your expression so this way shortened operator works now let us discuss increment and decrement operators increment operator is used to increase the value of variable by one and decrement operator is used to decrease value of variable by one so if you write x equals to 100 so 100 is stored to x and if you want to perform x equals to x plus one so you can write increment operator rather than x equals to x plus one so after execution this will be 101 same way decrement operator will decrease the value by 1 so rather than writing x equals to x minus minus 1 we are going to write x minus minus increment and decrement operator are further uh, classification like pre and post increment or decrement but here we will discuss increment only same rules and same behavior will be applicable to pre and post decrement operator pre increment operator you can observe that 
here the operator symbol is written before the identifier so that is the prefix in pre-increment operator value of x is incremented before assigning it to the variable on its left we will discuss in using example here we are having value 10 in the x value of x is incremented value of x is incremented before assigning it to the variable on its left so here x will be incremented so it will be 11 and then it will be assigned to variable p so after execution we will be having 11 to x and 11 to p post increment operator you can observe that here your operator symbol is return in post fix after the identifier in post increment operation value of s x is incremented after assigning it to the variable on its left so here will increment x but after assigning it to the p so first of all we will assign x to the p so 10 will be assigned to p and then we will apply increment to the x so it will be 11 after execution x will be 11 and p will be 10 all this behavior is applicable to pre and post decrement operator now let us discuss conditional operator here is the syntax expression 1 it will be your condition then expression 2 and expression 3 let us check how it works first of all it will evaluate expression 1 and check if it is true or non zero then expression 2 is evaluated and it returns expression 2 or you can say its value becomes the value of the expression if expression 1 is false then expression 3 will be evaluated and entire expressions value will be expression 3 here is the example we are having 2 and 3 2 is not greater than 3 so this expression is evaluated first and it is false so it will evaluate expression 3 and for entire expression it will be 3 then 3 will be stored into R suppose we are having 2 less than 3 this expression is true so expression 2 will be evaluated here no need to evaluate so this expression will be entire expression this becomes the value of the expression m will be value of this entire expression so 2 will be stored to variable r the next is bitwise operators under that we are having bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor shift left and shift right let us discuss with example we are having value 8 and 6 in variables a and b we are going to perform bitwise and between a and b it will perform bit by bit and operation of the binary value of a and b so for that we i have written the binary values so if you perform and operation 0 and 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 so performing end operation between 8 and 6 will output you 0 0 0 0 and in decimal it will be 0 so it will display as decimal output bitwise or it will perform or operation of bit by bit value 0 0 0 0 1 will return 1 1 1 so 1 1 1 0 and the output will be 14 bitwise shift left it will shift all bits to the left direction or left position here i am applying bitwise left to a so if you assume 1 2 4 8 16 32 here i am just applying bitwise left by one bit only so if all four bits shifted left by one position then it will generate output 16 so ultimately you can see say that left shifting is equivalent of multiplying b by power of 2 the reverse is bitwise shift right if i shift right these four bits by one position it will return output 
4 so ultimately right shifting is the equivalent of dividing b by power of 2. Some of the new operators are introduced in C++ that are scope resolution. It allows to access the global version of a variable. We will discuss all these operators in detail. Let us having just brief overview of the new operators. Then pointer to member declarator. It declares pointer to member of a class. Pointer to member operator. To, it is used to access class members. While pointer to member operator, this will be used to access data members of a class or to point data members of a class. New will allocate new memory in the runtime like you have used in malloc and calloc. Delete will delete the memory or deallocates the memory at runtime. Endl that is end line line feed operator it will add new line to be inserted then set w filled with operator for formatted output we will use set w it is a manipulator specifies a fill with for printing value thank you